Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and this is my iPhone 4. But this is not just any iPhone 4 because this particular iPhone 4 is running a beta of Apple's iOS 6. Now the next iteration of the iOS operating system was announced yesterday at Apple's WWDC event. And there are a bunch of awesome new features to check out, so let's go through some of them. Now straight off the bat you'll see, uh, it's nothing big, but there is a new wallpaper. Uh, looks nice. Um, now, seeing as this is a phone, let's start off with the improvements to the phone application. Okay, so I'm going to call from home, and you'll see that in addition to the answering slider right there, there's also a slide up option. So if I do that, I can decline, I can answer, I can reply with a message. I'll just send what's up. And then it ends the call and automatically sends that message. Now if I call again, I can also have the phone to remind me to call this person back when I get home, when I leave, or you know, in an hour. So it'll just remind me in an hour. So that's a really cool useful feature in iOS. It's something that I never thought of actually putting into the operating system, but now that I see it in action, it's definitely something that I can see myself using on a daily basis. Now that's not the only improvement with the phone though. There's also some slight UI changes in the dialer. You'll see it used to be black and blue and now it's white. And there's a different sort of texture to the design of the phone. And you know, it still does what a phone does. There's just, it just looks a little different now. Now another major new feature in iOS 6 is Facebook integration. Now you see I have the Facebook application right there, but if I slide down the notification center, you'll see that I also have a tap to post right to Facebook button right there. It's nice to the tap to tweet button, which is also new. So if I tap that button, it takes me to a new Facebook sheet where I can post a status, add my location, and I can even control who sees this post. This is all right in notification center. Now Facebook is integrated throughout all of iOS 6, which means if I want to share like a photo or something, I can just click the new share menu and you'll see the Facebook icon right there. I just tap that and I can automatically send this picture right to Facebook. Um, I'm not going to do that though. Now this sharing feature works in Safari and Maps and Photos. It's really cool. Basically any application with content that you could share. Uh, the option to share on Facebook is there. What's more, say you really like an application and you want all of your friends to know about it. All you have to do is go into an app, click on reviews, and there is now a Facebook like button right there. So you can see and all of your friends who like a certain application, so you get reviews from the people you trust most. And Facebook's even made its way into your contacts and calendars. All your contact information like email addresses and phone numbers and even caller IDs can be updated and imported right from Facebook into the Contacts app via settings. And there's also Facebook events in the um, calendars application. So you can see right here, I have a Facebook event for a fire department concert. These are all the people that are in it. And I didn't do that. That's right from Facebook integration. And just like Twitter, all of this Facebook stuff is sign in once in the System preferences, there is now a Facebook tab right next to the Twitter tab, and you just sign in right there, and you are good to go throughout your entire iOS device. There's also some improvements to the mail application. If we go into it, you'll see that we have our VIP box right down there. Now you can mark certain people as VIPs and get special messages from them and special alerts right on your lock screen. And this is also great because um, in sifting through your regular mailboxes, you will see a little star next to everyone who you've marked as a VIP. And let's just say you're in your, your uh, mail application, you want to check really quickly if you've gotten any new mail. There used to be a little reload button right down there, and you know, that wasn't very satisfying. You just tap it and watch it spin. So now all you have to do is pull and release, and you update. What's more, now in the mails application, if you start to type a message, and realize halfway through that, oh crap, I want to put a picture in there. You don't have to start over and go through the photos application to send a picture anymore. Now, all you have to do is tap, pull up the menu, insert photo or video, and you can do it right within a message. Now, Apple did unveil a new application called Passbook at the WWDC event, and you'll see it right down there, and if I tap on it, currently it's not working or anything, it just shows you uh, some of the options you have for 
uh, what you can store in the application, boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. Um, it's not actually doing anything at this time, but hopefully pretty soon Apple updates this and, you know, we get a view of what Passbook can actually do. Now also in this folder is the Maps application. Maps got a major redesign. Uh, starting with the icon, you'll see that it's changed a little bit to reflect the redesign that Apple's done with the app itself. So if we open this up, and you can tell that it looks very different from the Google Maps that used to be on iOS. And it works just the same, but it's vector-based now, which means that everything is super detailed and it stays, you know, where it should. So once this loads, if I want to rotate this, you can notice all of the labels, all of the names and stuff stays, um, rotates, so it's always in perfect view. And unfortunately, because this is an iPhone 4, I don't have the um, flyover feature and I don't have the turn-by-turn -turn directions feature, uh, which is <laughs> definitely a bummer. Because this device doesn't have Siri, it's not going to be able to tell me um, it's not gonna be able to speak to me what I should do, but you know, I can still follow this slide right through and it, it, It's basically an updated version of the directions that Apple used to offer with the Google Maps application So far I also got a few pretty cool updates. So let's just hit this up and see what it's like So I will type in um, hmm. What website should I go to? Let's just do a today's iPhone.com I hear that's a pretty cool website. As it loads up, I'm going to turn off the uh, rotation lock. And you'll see that if I turn the device now, there's this little button down here for full screen mode. And once this is done loading, you'll see that even the uh, progress bar and the search bar and all that goes away and you just get full screen Safari. Now this only works in landscape mode, non-portrait mode, but it's definitely a nice feature to have. And uh, also in Safari that I not personally sure if this is new in iOS 6 or just new to me. You have the option to open a link in the background. So if you hold on this, you can click open in background and it goes down there and then it opens in a new page without taking you out of the page you're currently in, which is also a really cool thing. Okay, I just wanna highlight a few more smaller features before we move over to the iPad to check out iOS 6 on the new third generation iPad. Uh, first of all, you may have noticed that when I went down here, you see um, these little 15 second rewind and 15 second fast forward buttons instead of the usual uh, back and forward buttons. This is because I am in an audiobook right now. I like to listen to audiobooks when I do yard work and stuff. Well, I like to listen <laughs> to Harry Potter audiobooks when I do yard work and stuff. And uh, navigating through these audiobooks has always been kind of a, you know, kind of annoying to do just because. I don't know if you can tell there, but this audio file is like two and a half hours long and um, scrubbing through is definitely annoying. Uh, before you had a little rewind 30 second button and that's it. Now you have a rewind 15 second and a fast forward 15 second, which is, I mean, it, it seems pretty little, but it's a huge plus. And those buttons are also carried over down here, which is great. And you may have noticed that the whole iPod is actually redesigned if we go out and go into uh, artists or something. I'll click on something unembarrassing. The Beatles. Everybody loves the Beatles. Um, the player is totally different. The menus are totally different. It, it sort of resembles the music player on the iPad, actually. But um, it Apple's gotten rid of the black and blue theme in favor of a white silverish theme and I personally like it a lot I think it looks cool and clean and you know everybody and their grandmother has seen the iPod application So it's great that Apple's changing it up a bit Okay, so now let's put the iPhone away and move on to the iPad and see what iOS 6 has in store for this baby Okay, so first and foremost the biggest feature for the new iPad is obviously Siri uh, when the new iPad first launched, it launched with Siri Dictation, but not the full-fledged digital assistant. So it's really nice that Apple has decided to, you know, offer customers the full Siri experience on the new iPad. So if I hold down the home button. Hi, Siri. Good evening, Mr. Potter. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm having it call me Mr. Potter. Let's just ignore that because Siri also got some updates itself. First of all, Siri now knows a fair bit about sports. Siri, who won the Stanley Cup this year? The Kings won the Stanley Cup 4-2 over the Devils. Siri knows movies. 
Show me movies starring Emma Watson. I found a few movies starring Emma Watson. You could even click and view a trailer right in Siri. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Another big addition to Siri is that she can now open applications. Siri, open the App Store. Boom, just like that, and the App Store's open. Uh, these are all great improvements, and again, you can see the redesign for the App Store right here. Uh, it looks really, really great on the new iPad. Now, because the Maps application is so big, let's check it out on the new iPad. Open Maps. Okay, so we're in Maps right now, and you can tell that this is definitely not Google Maps. Oh, and then we're, we're zooming in, we're getting some buildings now. This is in San Francisco. So if I click on the 3D button, you can see that we have uh, 3D modelings of every building here. Um, now this is really cool, actually. They, they pop up as they render. And now let's just say we wanted to check out Satellite. Now this is rendering in real time. Now this is the flyover feature. You can see that it really does look like you are uh, flying over the city right now. You can see these buildings in great detail. You can spin around. <laughs> this is not the nicest part of San Francisco apparently, but you get the idea. This is really, really cool. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure how useful or practical this is, and obviously my internet connection is not very good down here in my basement, but it's definitely fun to look at. Now, not every city is supported with this flyover 3D feature, but I'm sure that Apple is going to work to incorporate as many cities as they possibly can into this, uh, solely for the sake of saying that they have all these cities 3D rendered. Um, Okay, so that is the new maps feature. Okay, now that about does it for the face. Now, okay, now that about does it for the major features of iOS six. Uh, there's also things like FaceTime over three G or um, shared photo streams and that kind of stuff. And um, I'm sure there's a ton of other features that are going to come out of the woodwork with new betas and with just time spent with the software. So definitely stay tuned to today's iPhone and our YouTube channel for all the latest up to date news and features of iOS six. Uh, but for now, that's it, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Jake, and don't forget for more news, views, reviews, and everything iOS 6, definitely check out todaysiphone.com.